Hello, today I'm here with a new video and this I think is going to be a long video because I am doing my Q&A video and I asked you both on Instagram and on my community tab for questions and I got some questions and I am happily going to answer these and I am actually kind of happy that it wasn't that much makeup questions so that feels fun that you want to know more about me and I was like debating am I going to do a get ready with me to answer these questions or should I just sit down and talk and I decided just to sit down here and talk and you can have me on in the background I have no idea how long this video is going to be maybe 15 minutes maybe 40 I have no freaking idea so I'm just going to answer these questions and I am not going to say who answered the questions even though I don't think any of you care because yeah, I don't know, but I'm just going to start. So I have the questions on my phone and I'm going to read the questions and then answer them to you. So the first question, are you a vegan? And no, I am not. And <laughs> first I was like, okay, I'm going to defend myself on this, but no. I eat vegan food like 90% of the time. Almost all the food I cook at home is vegan, but no, I am not a vegan. But I don't use like clothes that are from animals or shoes or anything like that. So I don't use leather, I don't use wool and yeah, <laughs> that's maybe the two things. Um, and uh, that I haven't done for a long time. And I haven't eaten meat, like red meat and chicken for, I think it's 20 years. I sound so freaking old when I said that. I don't think I've eaten red meat for 20 years. And fish, fish and s such things like that for, I actually know what it can be five years can be seven years I have no idea but no I'm not a vegan I eat a lot of vegan food but I'm not a vegan next question <laughs> what holiday makeup has caught your eye and I have to say the Beetlejuice collection from Melt I I want it so bad I don't know how much but how much I'm going to buy from it I want like the whole shebang but it's going to be so expensive so I don't know but that's what really caught my eye mostly because I love Beetlejuice I have watched that movie I don't know how many times I just it's one of my absolute favorite movies and it's been <laughs> since a very young age and I think that is like the only thing that's really caught my eye I usually don't like smaller indie brands I don't think they usually do like super like holiday things and I don't am that interested in bigger brands so I think like the Beetle use is the only holiday collection that's really caught my eye and I'm going to buy something from it I just don't know how much and it do I look a little bit small I've changed like settings not setting but my setup and stuff I hope this is okay probably you're not even looking at me so it doesn't matter and then I got a question about Astrid I have got more than one question about Astrid and that makes me so happy because every time I talk about her in my videos I'm like okay people don't want to listen to that but apparently you do and that makes me so happy so uh, how is Astrid doing please so sh show us show some pictures because I want to see her uh, more more of her on your channel this was Debbie my friend that asked this and Astrid is doing really good <laughs> she is a crazy little cat I love her with my whole heart and she is it's like mayhem <laughs> at home sometimes she's so intense and then she like crashes and sleep and she's doing good the only thing that is a little bit of problem or is it really um don't want to, to do this for a really long answer i can meanwhile put um, up some pictures but it's really hard to take like a picture on her because either she is like super crazy or she rolls up like a little bowl bowl 
fall uh, when she sleeps. I took some pictures earlier today, actually I can put some of them here. Um, the only thing that is a little bit, that makes me a little bit sad with Astrid right now. Um, if you didn't know, we had a cat before that was named Elsa. She passed away in October. And we bought Astrid as a company for Elsa because one of our other cats uh, passed away in beginning of this year. So we bought like Astrid, Astrid as a friend for Elsa and then Elsa passed away and it is really hard because me and my boyfriend, we are at work the whole day and when we come home, Astrid has really, really missed us and she does, doesn't like to be alone. Uh, she doesn't even like to be alone when we are at home. She always wants to be with us. So that is really hard and I don't know how much if she like suffers from this or not. And we are actually going to buy a new cat. And a part of me feels like it feels bad for like Elsa to already buy a new cat. But we really want a friend for Astrid. And I know that if you buy two cats at the same time or almost at the same time, they are going to grow up together and they are going to be best friends. And we really want that for Astrid and we don't want her to be home alone. So if everything goes as planned in middle of December we are going to get our new cat and we are buying a ragdoll I think it's ragdoll in English as well we are buying a ragdoll and uh, I really hope that it will go as planned and so hopefully in the end of this year we're going to have two cats again and that was a really long answer but Astrid is doing great <laughs> and she is she has like a super She's really her own cat and <laughs> she is, I just love her. And then the last question I got on my Instagram are, are you excited for Christmas this year uh, or do you have, uh, and do you have any traditions, traditions for the season? Oh my lord. <laughs> the last year I've been like fed up with Christmas, I don't know why, I don't know because at my work Christmas starts in September. And so when December comes and Christmas is here, I am like fed up with Christmas. But, and this year I actually don't know. We have, we don't know what we're going to do. We usually, I have moved here. I don't live close to my parents. And now with, a, with the pandemic and everything, I can't like go and visit my parents as I want to. And uh, I don't know how we are going to celebrate Christmas this year. It might just be me and my boyfriend and hopefully our two cats or me, my boyfriend, Astrid. We actually don't know. My mom and my brother might come down here to visit. We, we have no idea. And maybe we're going to spend time with my boyfriend's family we don't know because we don't know how the situation is with everything so actually we don't know we don't have any like plans for christmas and i don't think i don't have so many traditions for christmas in like normal cases one tradition <laughs> that i have the big advent calendar from body shop doesn't feel sad that it's a tradition but i have had it for like six years but other than that, no. I think I'm going to try to have like an all vegan Christmas this year. But no, we, we don't have like any special traditions. Um, we just hang out, have a chill. It's, I'm happy to be uh, off work. It's not always I am uh, when it's Christmas. Okay, and now I'm going in to my YouTube and see the questions I got. Okay, this question I should maybe have taken it before. Um, I asked, I answered the last question. What kind of work do you do and do you wear colorful makeup to work? I am a consignee, I think it's called, at a warehouse. And we are shipping out 
food to grocery stores of the south of Sweden. I think we ship out to around 70 stores. So I, when things come in to the warehouse, I talk to the drivers and I put the things that we get into the system and I book it and it comes to our system instead of the supplier system. So I work at an office in a warehouse and I have been at the same work for almost 10 years. I don't know how that happened. I have no freaking idea. When I started like nine and a half years ago, I was like, okay, I might be here a year. But now I, I want to stay at least for 10 years because then you are getting a present. So I will at least be there for half a year. I like my work. I like my colleagues. The work is not the most fun thing, but I have a really good time with my colleagues and I have a good salary and I work Mondays to Fridays and no I do not wear, wear, wear colorful makeup to work I don't I only do my eyebrows because I start at 6 a.m. in the morning and I I go up at 5 and I don't want to go up any earlier because doing makeup in, hell no I don't know even if I would start later if I would wear makeup to work because I think if I would start later than six I think I would train or do something else before work but no I do not wear makeup at all to work. Then we have a question that is about YouTube. What do you wish someone had told you before you started your YouTube that it took you forever to figure out? And I can tell you Annette, it was Annette that asked me this question. I haven't figured out like a thing. One thing that I wish that I knew, I could try to figure this out but it's just like I'm too lazy for it and that is like how do you come out like with the tags and stuff you can put it in your videos. I like started to put tags in my videos like half a year ago and who is going to notice me and I wish that it would be like, this is how you do to make the most spread of your video. Do you get what I mean? English is not my first language. I always blame that when I don't know a word. <laughs> but that I wish that someone told me and also like how much freaking work this is. I am so impressed by people that have this like, have a normal work and put up a lot of videos each week and yeah do I look maybe I should take the share a little bit higher maybe this is better um that I wish someone had told me and I still haven't figured this out <laughs> how to do like tags and stuff and also I hate clickbaiting and I know that is like one thing that you need to do to like more people to see a video. I am not going to do that. I, it's not for me. For some reason, it, fe I, it feels like I'm too old for clickbait. But yeah, um, that I wish somebody has told me before. Mostly maybe how much work it takes. If you don't have a YouTube channel, I do never underestimate people. <laughs> and then Didi, Garden of Beauty, she asked me five questions and I'm going to try to answer these as good as I can. Um, uh, which are your favorite makeup brands? Rank them from five to one. And <laughs> when I first read it I was like this is going to be easy and now I'm like no it's not. Maybe if I start with my five favorite brands, can I even do that? Um, Kaleidos is one of my favorites. Shroud, Nabla. Uvia's Place. How 
can this be so hard? I think maybe Linda Hallberg. So if I'm going to rank them from five to one, I know which two brands in the top. I know the third brand. Okay, I think number five, I have to say, <laughs> number five, I have to say Linda Holberg. I really love, like, the lipsticks. I love the Infinity palettes. And they are, and, like, the brushes are some of my favorite brushes. But I wouldn't, like, <laughs> survive only on her eyeshadow palettes because I want something more fun. So, number five is Linda Holberg. They have amazing brushes. I love them their brushes. Number four, I actually think it's Yuga's Place. If you have asked me like a year ago, I think Yuga's Place had come like maybe in first place because I love Yuga's Place. They do amazing shadows and they were like the first brand I tried with like super colorful pigmented shadows. So Yuga's Place has a special place in my heart but I not use and love used place as much as I did before, but I still really love them. And if I want something really, really colorful, I go to used place. Number three, I think I would say Shroud. They do amazing shadows. They, they are like so my style. I love them. They do amazing pastels, they do amazing shimmers, and they do amazing grungy, matte, cool colors. And I am waiting for the It's Freaking Bats, the Beauty, Beauty Bean collab, and I want it so bad. And I love all one palette from Shroud, I also have bought some of the singles many of the singles I might say. Uh, so yeah I think number three is Shroud. So number two. Okay I don't know about number one and two but now you know which brands <laughs> they are left. I think I have to say Kaleidos. I love Kaleidos eyeshadows. I love their highlighters. I love their contour palettes. I really like the brushes. They have some amazing lip tonics. And I don't miss any from anything from Kaleidos, but Nabla, that I think is my favorite brand. Is it really? I don't know. They... I don't know about Nabla. It feels like I don't talk about Nabla that much, but I really, really love the brand. I really love their liquid lipsticks. It's, I think it is my absolute favorite formula. They do amazing base products. They do amazing highlighters, amazing blush, really, really good contour shades. And their palettes are so, so good. I wish that more people talked about Nabla because they are really, really good at doing colorful shadows and they are really good at doing neutrals, but doing neutrals like fun. So I actually think that Nabla is my favorite brand. Hm. I didn't know that, but I think so. I love everything that I've tried from Nabla. They are so, so good. Okay, this video is going to be long. Uh, question number two. Who in the beauty community would you like to collab with next? I don't know. I would love <laughs> to do a collab with Paulina's Beauty because I have followed Paulina like forever. And uh, I would love to do a collab with Angelica Nyqvist, with Teresa Stad. I would love to do a collab with all the people that I'd watch. And... Uh, but like it's, I don't know what to do. Like I can't do a face off with everybody. And I also want to do a collab with Katie from Makeup for Lost Time. I have to think who am I collabed with? I would love to collab with everybody that I've already collabed with. I don't know. It's it just like. It feels so strange because I watch a lot of people and I consider them like as my friends and I don't think like 
all of them know who I am. And the third question is, uh, when did your love for makeup start? And I started my channel, is it really six years ago? And I think there I loved makeup, but I didn't thought that I was good at makeup. So around six years ago, and I think around maybe three years ago, my love for really like colorful makeup started. I loved to watch it, but I didn't dare to do it. It was so scary for me, but I really, really loved it. And I haven't been like interested in makeup before. Not more like than... I thought it was okay, but I think maybe around six years ago. Um, but I didn't like have the courage to do it on my own. But I think it started around that time and I... It took me a really long time from like started to love makeup to actually do it and believe in myself that I can do it. So yeah, maybe around six years ago. Question, the fourth question. When did you start your YouTube channel? No, why did you start your YouTube channel? I watched YouTube Maybe a year before when I started it, I was like, okay, I want to do this. And I did something that I think a lot of people do. I like did videos on my own. I didn't record anything, but like I could sit down and do my makeup and like imagine that I was doing a video. And I started it because I thought it was so fun and I really wanted to try that and I I didn't have any hobbies and I was like maybe this can be my hobby and maybe I can have like I don't see myself as a creative person I am not and I cannot paint I cannot do anything like with a piece of paper it looks like a child has done it but when it comes to makeup, I could actually get some of my creativity out. When I was younger, I used to write poems and got like my feelings and creativity out there. But then I stopped doing that. And then I was like, I need to get it out somewhere. And YouTube, because I love to watch it, I like, okay, I'm doing it. So I wanted to have my cre creativity out somehow. And also, I wanted to talk to people that has the same interest. And YouTube is amazing for that. That is like the best thing that YouTube has given me. And the last question from Didi is, what are your goals here on YouTube? And I don't have any goals, like, at all. I think maybe my goal is to be happy with my channel. As it is right now, I am okay with my channel. Uh, I... I'm not maybe so proud of my channel, I don't know. I am very critical to myself and self-aware. I don't know if that is the right term. Um, but my goals is to be somebody that is like a normal person doing <laughs> makeup on YouTube. And I do not have any subscribing subscribers goal. It would be fun to have more, but if it doesn't happen, I don't really care. Some days, some days I just like, <laughs> I don't know. It feels like I'm stuck. Um, and I think maybe that is my goal, to not feel stuck. Uh, right now it feels like I'm doing the same thing over and over again, and I don't always like what I'm doing. So maybe my goal is to find a better, like, f mood with my channel, I don't know. Is that a blurry goal to have? But I want to be more happy with my channel. Right now I am not that happy. But I don't know what to do to f that would make me feel better about my channel. I have no idea. So I think that is my goal with... YouTube and also be like a safe place and a break from reality because that was what YouTube gave me in the beginning when I was only watching YouTube and I want to be that for others 
And the last question is about Astrid and how long have you had Astrid for and where did you get her? And we got Astrid in the end of July. And Astrid is a main coon and she is deaf. She can't hear a single thing. Um, she's white. She doesn't have blue eyes. She has yellow eyes. And we... She is around seven months. She was born in April. We got her like a little bit later because she also has some troubles with her heart. Maybe. We don't know. Um, but yeah. <laughs> what even was the question? Where did we get her from? So we had her for uh, August, September, October. Uh, uh, around three months. Is it only three months? <laughs> and uh, we got her when she was 16 weeks, I think, because the breeder that we got her from wanted to have her a little bit longer because she was going through checkups with a veterinary with the wet. Um, yeah, she, we have had her for like three months and we got her from a breeder. In Sweden we have something that is called Sverak. I think it's called Tika or something like that in the US. And in Sweden normal people can be a breeder in Sverak and have their like like Astrid, she is 100% Maine Coon, she has, what the hell is the name for that? She has a stam tavla, <laughs> I have to look this up, um, where you can see like her mother, her father, her grandfather's father's father, yeah, everything like that. And she is registered as a Maine Coon. And we got her from a sales site here in Sweden that is really big and people put up like usually you sell animals over there and uh, we find Astrid on there and we emailed back and forth we went down there to check on Astrid we decided that we wanted her we signed a contract and paid around 20 percent yeah 20 percent of the price uh, um, because that is what you do when you buy cats and dogs from breeders and uh, yeah they were really nice that we bought Astrid from they were really like nice people they were normal people and uh, we're really happy with Astrid <laughs> even though she have she's a little bit special my boyfriend hates when I say that Astrid is special but she is maybe because she's deaf I don't know and also the new cat that we are buying we bought from the same site and that is Ragdoll, I have already said it, and she also is going to have Stamtavlan in Sverak and everything like that. And I think that is the normal way to buy cats. I have no idea. Because our two other cats we have had, Elsa and Bodil. Elsa we bought from one of my friends and Bodil we bought from the same site. But both of them was like normal cats. In Sweden it's called house cat when there isn't a breed on them. Um, breed? Is it called breed? Yeah, it must be. But like now, Astrid is a Maine Coon, the new cat is going to be a ragdoll. And uh, I feel like a crazy cat lady that has started to buy cats that are a special breed. <laughs> I feel so strange. Um, and yeah, I think that was all actually. And I think this video is getting pretty long. I want to say thank you so much for all that you have. God, an English word just flew out of my head. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for all of you that asked me questions. It was so fun and I hope that you liked this video. And if you ever wonder something, you can always ask me like in the normal comment down under a video. I do get ready with me once or twice a month and I talk about things. Of course I talk about things in my get ready with me. But yeah, if you ever wonder something about me, just 
ask me. I answer not everything, but a lot. And if you want to know more about cats, and just let me know. I will happily do a video about cats. Um, and I am, of course, when we are going to get our new cat that we hopefully will get in the end of December, I will, of course, show you her and it's going to be fun to see how this will go because that cat is going to be hearing. And we will see how Astrid and the new cat is going to live together. That will be fun. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and thank you so much for watching me and supporting me. It means a lot to me and thank you so much for everybody that has asked me something. It was really fun and I've talked for such a long time and I think... My boyfriend is a little upset with me because we need to eat because it's going to get late. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm usually is a little bit more colorful than this. If you... I can leave the video up here where I did this look. And yeah. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!